Now the good chance is when you see a question that's got a table on it, it's going to be the tables are going to represent arrays and it's going to be a standard algorithm question. Okay, so if it's an array question, good chance it's standard algorithm. So what, what you've got, some teachers are sent for giving grades for your two units you've got in higher, okay, and A to D, really. Okay, so what they're asking is using a pseudocode or programming language, write an algorithm that will count the number of pupils that have a grade B, have, sorry, have got B's in both tests. Okay, so you'll be going through one array and going through another one, and if they've got a B in both tests, then you've basically, you're adding one to a counter. Okay, so if you're having to count how many folk I've got a certain condition. Hopefully, you'll be thinking about the standard algorithm called counting occurrences. So, just like in any counting occurrences, the first thing you have to do, okay, you have a total and you set it to zero. Okay, so you initialize the total. What we then think is, well, we need to then go through each element in the array and investigate it to see if this array has got a B in it and this array has got a B. So think of this as being the two separate arrays. So what you've got is, think of it starting at element 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's why we've got from 0 to 5, okay, down there. So what we then look at is, well, if index is 0 at the very start, so if index at position 0, let's think of it that, 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. If index at position zero, if that's a C, and if index at position zero, zero at ISDD is a zero, then okay, then obviously that's not a B, but that's a B. Okay, so then you'd actually add one to a counter. Okay, so if these values are Bs, just add one to the counter. So that's when it goes set total to total plus one. And that's your end if, okay, and then that's your end for. Good idea when you're writing it down is to indent it so you actually know if you've started and stopped your your construct, okay. So just to show you where you get the marks from, you get one from doing the total, and you get another for, from doing this fixed loop, okay, start to end. You get another one for the fixed if, start to end. You get another one for totaling it, okay, and you would also get another one for getting the condition right, okay. So initialising total, fix loop, and sorry, indicating that it's an array, okay. So that's your five marks there, and then what we've got is we're just sending the total out there, okay. So initialise your total, count how many elements you have to look and make that your fixed loop. And then think about the condition. So if these elements, if it's equal to B and it's also equal to B in another array, then just increment the total and make sure that you end the construct. So if it's an if statement, end it. If it's a for, then end the for. And there's no harm in just outputting your total as well.